How's it going guys? It's Epsilon and today we find out what the most useful items and unlocks are to increase your efficiency and save you time in RuneScape 3. Let's begin. Number 1. A very simple one indeed and that is quick teleport charges. The clue is in the name of this one and it effectively reduces the time to teleport significantly allowing you to relocate, move around the map super quickly, efficiently so you spend less time in the teleport animation and it's available for all players in RuneScape only literally requiring you to purchase or obtain Vizwax which can be traded for quick teleport charges. You get 10 charges per one Vizwax and so it's fairly cheap way of just basically teleporting around the map. Number two is totems on Anachronia. Now totems can be difficult to obtain due to the time requirements to obtain materials and to collect the totem pieces but the rewards can be super beneficial ranging from reducing clue scroll steps by one to increasing familiar times to faster or cooldowns and basically my advice is to start working your way towards the totems as soon as possible on your account whilst training and preparing for other activities so you can get these as soon as possible and reap the rewards for the longest period of time. Third on the list is the Fairy Ring Teleports, which can be unlocked by completing the A Fairy Tale Part 2 quest and allows you to teleport to unique Fairy Ring locations, allowing for quicker routes to skilling activities, and when paired with the grace of the elves, can actually make teleporting to hard-to-reach locations super easy, since you can attune a grace of the elves necklace to Fairy Rings and therefore speed up clue scrolls and also other location-based tasks where you're having to move around a lot. Fourth on this list, List is relic powers from archaeology which if I was beginning a new account on RuneScape 3 would be one of the first 99s or 120s I would go for as this unlocks super useful training methods and quality of life benefits and can be used to help increase XP throughout multiple training disciplines and you can also earn a ton of money during your archaeology grind. Yes you have to spend a little to begin with but as you get through you start earning a ton of GP and of course you can check out one of my most recent videos on Tetra Compass pieces and how you can farm those for a decent amount of money per hour and it's super afk number five is the attuned crystal teleport seed which is pretty much an essential skilling item especially for things like summoning and can be used to teleport directly to each district in Priftinus. the item requires of course the completion of Priftinus quests all of the quest line leading up to it and the eyes of gloffrey and you also need 85 smithing so it can be difficult for new players to obtain but it is super useful for just moving around within Priftinus and once again is almost a must if you're going for 99 or 120 summoning especially 120 summoning as you can basically teleport right next to uh, where you'll be converting into pouches so super super useful at number six we have a skilling item that seriously improves the training of agility and one of the most hated skills in runescape and this is silver hawk boots these boots can be used to gain passive agility experience by charging them with either silver hawk feathers which can be bought from the grand exchange or by getting silver hawk downs which can appear in various different rewards and stuff like that you can also get silver hawk feathers from um, actually opening up treasure hunter keys if you get your daily keys you can get silver hawks and of course these will give you some xp towards agility i would 100 percent recommend using these on double xp just save up a ton of silver hawks and then train a different skill completely whilst also getting agility experience which is really really nice number seven includes harmonic dust which Although in itself is not particularly interesting, it can be used to create high tier skilling gear such as crystal mattocks, crystal pickaxes, a variety of other uh, crystal kind of tools and that includes both for fire making like tinderboxes and a whole range of assortment of kind of crystal tools which are basically required for obtaining highest level variants of many of the skilling kind of main hands like pickaxes etc. Um, the highest tier like tier 99s for example such as the pickaxe of earth and song and the matic of time and space all require some form of a crystal tool along with some of the others and basically you have to get them if you want to get these pickaxes or the highest tier gear which in turn obviously increases the actual precision of your matic for example or it will just increase the actual rate at which you can mine or do various other things and they give massive bonuses which just speed up everything uh, so i would 100 recommend getting yourself some harmonic dust 
dust as quickly as possible and then grinding out as much as you can all in one go it's super afk to actually get it just takes a while to actually get it in total but yeah super super useful Number eight in this video is invention devices and also invention augmenters. So in general, invention devices such as Divinomatic Vacuum, Fishing Rodomatic, Pyromatic, uh, also augmenters that you can put perks on your gear can be super, super helpful in just increasing the amount of XP that both you get and also the materials you gather at the same time. Um, so having all of the perks along with all of these extra um kind of invention items you can effectively speed up both your actual skill training but it also can mean that you don't have to spend as much on a lot of the buyable skills since you'll be farming a lot more of the amount of um, kind of items that you get from doing certain tasks like wood cutting etc all of the gathering skills you can boost up the amount that you're receiving from them which ultimately saves you a load of money which can be better placed in something else that's going to help out your account and so yeah that's really, really good alongside the fact that you will be leveling up invention and skilling at the same time. So it's really, really good to do. And I highly recommend jumping into invention and invention devices to just speed up your time of playing RuneScape 3. Number nine is Sign of the Porters, which I'm pretty sure any of you who have skilled for any length of time without using any kind of porters or grace of the elves knows exactly what it's like when your bank just fills up and you're constantly having to bank. What Sign of the Porters do is that they require you to have divination levels to unlock them to begin with uh, and they basically allow you to automatically bank all of the items you receive from gathering skills such as woodcutting, anything that's going to be filling up your inventory um, like archaeology for example um, and it basically means that they get directly sent to your bank and that means you don't have to go and bank every five minutes. And so that means you can literally AFK a certain skill superly, super AFK as well. And effectively, you can retain all of the items that you're getting as well. So you're not having to just ditch them on the floor and carry on. Um, and they can basically be used on their own and can be combined with the Grace of the Elves necklace that we've talked about earlier in this video, um, which can store 500 porter charges within it and so can actually free up more space or increase your skilling time before banking so it's really really good um, i almost 100 percent recommend anyone that is going to be training any gathering skill that you make sure that you get divination high enough to the point where you can at least get sign of the porter so really really uh, kind of a crucial one if you're going for a lot of the uh, kind of max cape or maybe 99 or just going for a load of gathering skills in your next 99s number 10 is skilling urns which provide a flat 20% increase to XP when training a skill that has an associated skilling urn. I believe you can also use invention items to increase the amount of XP that you get, um, but it will only increase it by 5%. Uh, so you end up with 25%, but it can be costly to do that, as well as the fact that urns also are pretty costly to use. But imagine uh, training something that is kind of crucial like farming uh, but you can only literally get xp drops after a set amount of time it is very crucial that when you do get your xp drops you get as much xp as possible and so the key thing about skilling urns is that when you use them on things like farming it is kind of even better because it means you can save yourself all of that time uh, that would have taken to actually grind out or get certain things like dragons etc it's really really good to do that and I highly recommend using urns as much as possible. And you can, even if you don't have Brooch of the Gods, you can basically grab them out of your bank. If you have a Brooch of the Gods, they can basically store urns within it. So you can have a certain amount of urns that you can just whack in your Brooch of the Gods. And then every time you use a skilling activity, it brings the uh, kind of active urn out of the uh, kind of out of your bank and into your inventory which can be used to get xp and this is really really crucial um, and actually almost critical for training anything that you can use urns on which include cooking wood cutting fishing um, farming loads of different skills but make sure that you do check out if you can use them with the skill that you're going to be training and it will be super super good for you um, hopefully this video has given you an insight into 10 different items of course it is not the be all and end all list so we will be doing some more uh, coming soon so make sure that you do subscribe to the channel 
And if you are interested in boosting your account to the next levels, then make sure to subscribe and also go and check out some of the other guides such as these two on screen right now. I hope you join me there and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.